guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we are going to try to get this fired up and see if our oil leak remedies worked. Uh, before anything, down below in the description, our new website, badinfluencegarage.com. Um, there is a link in the description below. You can go down there to get all of our new hats, shirts, and we just put up new decals. So go on there. Everything that you, you purchase from there actually goes right back into the channel for equipment and multiple things like that to make the channel better. So go check that out for us. But as you guys saw in the last couple videos, we took apart the turbo here. Check everything out in there and we thought the seals could possibly be bad. Uh, it wasn't the seals, we found out that it was a drain issue. In the last video you saw, we put the scavenge pump underneath there um, and then we also, the previous video, or uh, in that same video, we did our um, rear main seal and sealing everything inside there for an external oil leak. So we had two different oil leak issues happening at the same time and that kind of caused us to you know, look at multiple things um, that maybe we didn't need to. So we have the oil in this right now. It is warming up. We have it plugged in and then we're gonna get this kind of fired off and see how everything goes. So I'd say stick around for a couple of minutes and watch it, but with the magic of video, it's gonna be right here. I was just idling at 210 PSI. Better take some of that out. I was wondering why, I mean, yeah, it was still just idling, it was smoking. Yeah. So, fire's up. Um, scavenge pump obviously turned on, but we put two turns into our oil pump just to see if it, how much it would increase on there. And two turns on the oil pump increased um, nearly 100 PSI. So we're gonna take like a turn and a half out of there. Um, and that way we can be at like that 125 at idle and we're fine with that. So we're going to uh, go ahead and do that real quick because that's way too much. everybody so it's the next day and um, as you see the cars up in the air and we have parts off of it uh, we started diving into exactly what's causing this smoking on there uh, as you saw we've got the scavenge pump on there we had that going we had everything working on there uh, there are no leaks at the back of the engine anymore so we're happy about that but we can't figure out this smoking issue we pulled the manifold off and up inside the uh, the head, I'll show you here in just a sec. Uh, it is number four was just full of oil. I mean, it was it was terrible on there how bad it was. So we're gonna go ahead and um, there was oil in another cylinder on the other side. Al's taking the uh, exhaust off on that side right now. And we're gonna pull both heads off. We believe there's a leak somewhere in the head, and um, we have six six days or less to get this thing fixed. So we're gonna work on that. So we're pulling the heads off. You're getting everything to pull the heads off right now. And um, possibly we'll get a hold of Travis Knowlton down at KTRE and see if uh, he can test it. Maybe after the heat cycles and everything we've put through there and the boost, um, one of the tubes for the push rod tube on there, it's sleeved. And we want to make sure that, you know, there's no leak there. You know, if when we had boost on there, if it moved everything around enough where it can now leak, that could be an issue. So we're gonna go ahead and check everything there um, and just kind of, there's the header coming off right now. We're gonna go ahead and get this off and uh, have it all checked out. We got this down on the ground and 
You guys have heard me say this before, and I've even said it before. We found the problem, but this time I mean it. Like, you know when you tell your, your parents something when you're a kid and you know you're gonna do it again, but then you finally mean it and they don't believe you? This is, that's what's going on right now, except I really mean it, we found it. So, the problem we're having stems from all the way in here. Let's get this in there. That push rod tube right there, that is right on there, you can see it has a crack in it. The push rods were actually had a slight rub on there. I'm trying to put a flashlight down. Uh, it had a slight rub on it, and we didn't see it on the stand because when we would turn it over, it was fine. But up at you know 7,000 RPM plus, it would deflect just enough as what it looks like, and it would rub on there. It caused a small crack and now it's sucking oil in on there. It looks like it's a possibility on some of the other tubes. We just got off the phone with Travis Knowlton from KTRE, and he said, hey, if you guys can get it down to me, I'll take a look at them and see what we can do. Huge, huge shout out to Travis Knowlton at KTRE. Um, it seems like there's pop other, it seems like Travis always, you Jumps know. in the clutch. Well, he, when, whenever we have problem with our heads, like, the first time we had our big nitrous engine, we uh, had all this stuff done. We went to go fire it up for the first time. We put water in it and water was pouring out the exhaust ports because it was a porous head. Travis, right away, we brought it down to him. He welded him up for us and got him fixed and everything like that. And then he fixed him like six more times because of well, nitrous problems. But like, he has always been super good and his, his repairs or any of his work is always top notch. So thank you very much, Travis. We do appreciate that. But now it's Friday night. I have to pull these heads off and we're gonna leave at like 7.30 or eight o'clock in the morning and get these down to them. So we gotta go ahead and get these off and um, get them in the back of the GTO. So uh, it is the middle of the week. Last weekend, we sent the heads down to KTRE. As you can see, they're not here. Um, I did have a little live deal on my personal Facebook. We'll do some stuff here. You can see that. Um, as I'm driving down uh, 169, the GTO starts popping and banging and just not making any sense. So I had my laptop with me. Um, and plug in right to uh, passenger side O2 sensor completely dead. Just it's not doing a damn thing. So I put it into open loop and I flipped it into Princeton. Here in Princeton, there I just left Princeton, Minnesota here. The guys at the auto value here were super nice. I pulled in and they heard the GTO, you know, with the cam and everything. They're like, oh, this is so cool. You know, what is it? And I was like, hey, it'd be really cool if you have a freaking O2 sensor for me. So I look it up, they had no two sensor. Um, the car sits low and he's like, well, um, and I was like, well, they had a retaining wall and I pulled up onto that and I pulled the car up here and went under the front, replaced the O2 sensor. They thought it was super cool. I was like, like whatever, let's just get it done in the parking lot and uh, replace the O2 sensor. We're cruising along at 70, everything is good again. So that's all. And uh, we just, uh, we just found out today that we are gonna have the heads they're gonna be done sometime today. So um, I literally just found this out like four minutes ago. So um, I'm going to go make some phone calls. I have a couple of people who are they're not doing anything this afternoon. So I may send them down, pay them, go down there and get those heads for me. Um, and it's Thursday right now. So I'm excited to see what Travis found. And then I'll show you guys in the next video. Uh, but right now, this thing's gonna be going together. Like I said, Thursday, night. it's gonna be a really late night. Um, I'm hoping to fire this up. Follow our Facebook page, uh, Bad Influence Garage on Facebook. Uh, if we get this thing done and ready to fire off, we're going to fire it off live tonight on there. Um, or we'll put updates on there. Either one. But take a look. Um, it's probably going to be later tonight when that happens, if it happens type of video. But follow that. Uh, go check out our Instagram and everything. All of it's Bad Influence Garage. And uh, in until then, um, visit the store, buy a hat, be safe.